Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Meet Me at Noon, where we are kind of playing catch up here, I feel like. Even my, what I thought were conservative estimates about the progress we would make yesterday uh, ter <laughs> turned out to be overshooting, and I'm a little nervous about that fact. I'm a little nervous about how, how much progress I'm going to be able to make today. But hey, good news, look at this, I did the thing. I got, I got the, t I could draw on the screen now and make art and different colors and yeah, okay. So this is gonna be useful, hopefully, for explaining my logic to some degree. We'll see, we'll see how much I actually get any play out of it. So it's been a day, let's take another fresh crack at some of these things here. So thing the first. Okay, it is literally impossible for Orange to pick up the star during sequence one. For Blue, it would require, like Blue gets four moves. So even if we had a situation where Blue could, on Blue's first frame, step to here, get carried over to there. So end, end instruction one at this space. Go two, three, four. There's still no way for Blue to touch the moon and the star in the same sequence of moves. It's just too much ground to cover. You could go one, two, jump, have orange scoot under you, and then be here at the end of sequence, or uh, instruction three, and yeah. So there's simply no way. So we know that it is the case that orange has to pick up the star during sequence three. So again, we come to this difficulty of how do we make that happen without accidentally winning the level? It really feels to me like, I, I, I do feel like I'm just retreading ground from yesterday already, but it really feels to me like the answer, the answer has to be either, no, I was gonna say the answer has to be either orange gets scooped up by blue, so orange is in this space and then just walks over, or blue has to do that aerial push on orange, but never mind, that first one never works because there's no situation where blue is here holding orange there and orange can step left without ending the level, right? There's a version of this, I suppose, where blue is moving across this area due to having been held up by orange and orange rides across and walks off. But it, I suppose that's possible. I suppose that could be the case. So, all right, let's try to figure this out. How do we... So we need, we need for sure blue to float across this area. And it feels like we want there to be a dead frame for orange here because we want blue to step over onto orange and then not move for an instruction. <sighs> maybe, maybe we do, hold on. I don't know. I was gonna say so that we have, a, so that blue is here and orange can land on blue, but what if we do, what if we do the wait here? Yep, and then you step over there, and then if I press right right now, I'm not going to be able to get onto the moon. But this feels very familiar, doesn't it? Well, actually, so Blue's move after this is to is to just move back here, right? Does this, does this not work? No, this is totally fine. How is this not what I did yesterday? <laughs> Gosh, my memory of, my memory of the solutions that I was trying yesterday is that that is essentially one of them. But I guess not. Maybe I did something slightly different than you know, it's possible. Sometimes your brain just gets like into a track. You get you get into a rut a little bit and you miss some subtle variation on what you're doing that is obvious to you later. This is one of the benefits of, of walking away from it for a while and coming back. All right, so this one. We were talking about this yesterday. We can, using an unfall, using a very standard unfall maneuver, get blue pretty high up. 
If orange is jumping, blue ends up here, which is problematic, obviously. Because we need orange to be up there. And we can't program in a jump with blue. So we definitely do want there to be a dead frame at the beginning of this because we want there to be a moment where blue is in this space so that orange can step onto blue, right? It's like we do this thing and then you would like to jump with blue, but you can't. But if we just fall down here, Wait, is that? Does orange, if orange's last instruction is a jump, does orange fall before the sequence change? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, because if we do it like this, there is a there's a down here. So that means blue is here for an entire turn of oranges, which means we can we could like jump and fall and jump again. So if I just step left right now, it's not actually super valuable to block orange from moving left, but that means blue will be in that position when the star appears. Okay, yeah, and there's a there's a step right in that sequence, so at some point orange will unstep. Walking away for a day is borderline sorcery. Let's see if we can continue. So hold on, this one this one we had already, right? That one we had already. Okay, so this is the one, this is the one that I was really finding challenging and the one where I wanted to be able to draw. <laughs> right, because my plan is we have orange do an unfall here that is exactly the same length as this unfall. I guess that arrow goes this way. Um, and then the problem is we have to get orange over here to do that. So what I was thinking was we would have blue in this space and orange do another fall no blue has to be sorry blue has to be in this space somehow because orange has to do the fall from here because it has to be a two tile fall and that way with blue in this space we could write one two blocks one two blocks mm, no that's actually So yeah, blue's here. Uh, is, there's a grid in the options menu to this, isn't there? Hold on, let me turn this on. <laughs> okay. So if blue is standing in this space and orange falls like that, then with blue jumping so that blue is in this space, playing that fall backwards, it is exactly this height, right? So if the, the idea is if we can do unfall at the end of Orange's instruction sequence, if we do fall at the end of Orange's instruction sequence, after moving left, I'd have to move left twice, right? Because what we want to happen is right, right, then Orange ends up here, and we do the big unfall that is the, the opposite of this thing. There's probably a way to do straight lines in this. You know what I'm talking about. So... In order for that to be the case, Orange's sequence in the third, we have to use the first sequence to position blue such that things are possible. And then Orange's instructions in the third sequence would have to be left to fall, which is this move, then left, left, and then fall off of here. Which, laid out spatially, for sure is not possible. There simply is not horizontal space for that to occur. 
it's easier for me to see that the plan I was trying to come up with is absolute garbage when I can actually spatially draw it out like this. Okay, bloody hell. I do apologize that when I start drawing, it pauses the game so we get that like weird jump when I turn off the, uh, the telestration. Okay, um, new plan. Okay, there's no way for blue to ever be over here, right? So we cannot use blue getting brought up as a as an elevator for orange, as we have done in the previous levels. This right here definitely actually has to be unfall. So how do we put orange here at the time when the unfall occurs? How would we ever? The two ways that it could happen are over the top, which I think we just proved is impossible, or through the bottom, but it would have to happen during orange time. It has to happen during sequence three because that movement is impossible during blue time. So how would I set it up so I'd be able to do that if blue can never enter the space to blue's right? I'm still not really sure on this one. Wait, let me hold on a second. Let me test something. Okay. All right. I'm going to be honest with you, the way I was trying to run that test was I was like, okay, we'll move blue over to here. And then if this, if I can't move right into the block, then when I press left again after moving right, blue will float off into space. Um, because for some reason, I guess in my head, this part was going to get through the orange block just fine. Here is where it would become an issue. I, I am of dubious, uh, <laughs> dubious foresight at times. Okay, so, you know, they say that trans women are supposed to be useful as oracles. Nobody should ever. All right, how do I take advantage of that? How do we want to... I mean, it's not as simple as... would be like, you'd want to go left, right. Does it actually matter what we have orange do? I guess it matters in the sense that orange needs to be in a place. Oh, but or no, sorry. Orange does have to get back up top because we do have to, during the third sequence, program in the fall. So... I would like step off of Orange's head and then do that, except that makes me die. So. All right, if we have the pause at the beginning instead. Oh, right, you have to be, you have to be on top of me when that happens. I think that actually works, right? Because now we just step onto you. You go over here. And then if I end my sequence there... Ah, shit. Right. Blue is in so much danger. How do I... How do I not end up... So I have to... Sorry, this, the orange part was probably fine. Does blue's turn have to be left, right, left? No, that doesn't work. Left, right, up. 
But the problem is if I press left right now, I'll die at the sequence change. And if I don't press left right now, I will die at this sequence change. So how do I... This is a very challenging puzzle. Right, I'm right about that, right? So if I press, yeah, if I press left, that doesn't work. If I just press down. Yeah. If, if let, okay, if blue's moves are left, left, right, right, then blue ends up over here at the end of blue's sequence, which is safe. How do I left, left, right, right. So like, I have to be careful about where orange is here because I don't want to end up, we don't want orange to end up in this position at a bad moment. This, I think this works though, right? No, because if I press left, left here, yeah, you die. Uh, pause there, maybe? This way you move. Nope, you have to still be on my head. So you could move right. What if we had... How would I keep you on my head? I guess, okay. So I'm trying to get the star with orange right now, but I could actually just get on top of blue's head and sit there, right? Because blue will carry orange over to grab the star if we're doing this left, left, right, right thing. So maybe orange does nothing after the fall in this first sequence. Right, and then I step down to here. You shove me over into that position. Yeah, I don't love this. Because now you have the fall, but you're in the wrong spot. I feel like I'm very close to it. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait anywhere though. So we do have to do the fall to the left here. I can't press right. And if I press, if I press right right now, orange is gonna end up here at the unfall, which does not work. But if I press anything else, I don't really end up in a better spot. Yeah, if I press down, I'm going to end up here when the unfall occurs as well, right? If I press up, I just die. And if I press left, I also just die. We need to figure out a way to get another movement into here. So if I'm in this position, playing back a left and then a right, what if, okay, so what if, 
instead of this. Do I have time to go right, left, left, and then fall? I do. No, but the fall, right, the fall is... The horizontal movement has to be after the fall for it to be before the unfall. But I have time for that, actually. Yeah, and then that's blocked, but you actually do execute that one, and there it is. Okay. A mere 20 minutes of the episode <laughs> devoted to yesterday's constellations. <laughs> Game's getting tougher. We could just go all the way to, um, yeah, just just right up against the big wall. But for this one, we have to have everything. So let us continue. And hey, look, look where we are. We've finally found that gift of prophecy I was missing. This music. Oh, it's making me think of another piece of music from a video game that I can't quite put my finger on. It's on the tip of my brain and it's the most horrible feeling. Okay, it's fine. So. The feeling's getting stronger. It's going to come to me at some point. So if we have Blue fall down here and get carried to one direction, like if we fall down, get carried to there and go right, 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 that totally works. So is that all it is? We just use orange to... Oh, this is one of these time freeze. That's right. That's what the crystals in the air mean. Um, so I need to go during Blue's first moment. I need to go to here. So I need to have been here already. So this is, this here is a left arrow, right? From that position to that position. Does anything else matter? And then here we just want to do it in the other direction, right? But also I have to be on this at the end. Mm, this is where this breaks down because I want I want orange to carry. OK, so I want orange to carry blue over this way and then be here. But the problem with that is no, it's, it doesn't seem all that bad. So right, left, left, right, left, 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 left. I think that's right. Yeah, we get our star. Orange programs in a new set of moves. Yeah, no, that's totally right. Okay. Getting all up in my head about a level that was actually very easy. Because again, they make these ones easier because you can't see what, see what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. What is the purpose of this working the way that it does? can enter in sequences of moves that we wouldn't ordinarily be allowed to enter in here. So if I go like right, right. If we just press right a whole bunch and then I have blue jump at the beginning of blue sequence, orange is going to get over underneath, right? But the idea is what I probably want to do is have orange move to the right and blue land on orange and then blue ride orange for a little while so that we can end up here. Orange can carry us into the star, which is only present during the second sequence. So it's like during sequence two, what orange is doing has to be move to the right, move to the right, move to the right, and then wait there, which means that we program that in backwards. No, sorry, orange is going to interpret these instructions as as go the other way. Uh, yeah, sorry. 
So, but if we don't, ooh, if we don't do it that way, we're going to have a problem. We're not going to get far enough over here, right? I can already feel my brain <laughs> rebelling. It legitimately does make things harder for you not to see how orange is moving during the orange parts of the sequence. I'll give them that. So what we want is a left. We want to press left right now. Oh, hold on. We want Orange's last movement to be a left so that it is a right during sequence two. So what we can program in right now is like left, right. We can program in like a left, right, left, right. Left, right. So what we need to do is get orange underneath blue and then have blue maybe step off to the left and block orange from moving any further left and herd them this way. And maybe orange jumps to grab the star. So if this is a left, then orange's first move will be unfortunately dependent on orange's final position, which is always a nightmare. What happens if I press right, right, left, left here? And then... Ordinarily, we wouldn't be allowed to enter that sequence, right? If blue jumps, jumps, lands here, orange goes here with orange's second move, carrying blue. Blue presses left to end up here while orange is there. Then blue presses right to push orange to this position. So maybe I want it we want that to be an up. And then presses right again. Now, if I press right again, I'm going to end up underneath orange. I want to just stop. And then orange goes left, 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 left. And I just want to see what's going to happen here. Right. I have to... I have to remember that we're going to affect Orange's position. The instructions are not going to play out from here. Ugh. The fact that Orange doesn't move during us entering the uh, the sequence actually does create problems for my feeble brain. Because we certainly don't want to start our sequence here. I'm fairly confident we do want to jump at the end of Orange's sequence. That sequence of moves ends Orange in this position. So it'll be Orange steps that way. Hmm, it's no good. Does right, right, left work? Right, right, left puts you here is the problem. So Orange's first move is going to be to step there. The thing is, we can't really step with them because they're going to they're going to step here, then step here. Right. And what I want to do is have blue step here to stay next to them and then jump so that orange goes under so that blue can step around and then start pushing. The problem is their moves don't synchronize like that. Blue's move have blue's first move happens before orange's first move. So all we would do is push orange further to the left. And then orange would step left. Frustrating. It's really, really easy to get orange to move to the left and borderline impossible to get orange to move to the right. <laughs> I can't believe I'm already feeling this stumped this early in the thing. How do we create? Maybe the idea is rather that orange needs to go over and blue needs to go under. So like, I 
If the if Orange's last move is a jump. So blue waits for orange to get in the air, steps left. Then orange will try to step this way, which is, no, that doesn't work. The problem is, okay, okay, okay. It's better for us if the arrows are reversed, right? The problem with this is that when orange plays the sequence out forward, it's gonna mean orange ends up here at the first sequence change. But that's actually not that big of a deal. So blue presses left first, ends up in this space adjacent to orange in that space. Or sorry, blue will step into that space, then orange will jump and be here. Blue can step left again. Now orange is on top of blue and orange processes this, which steps orange this way. Then we press right with blue and then right again. And that's gonna end up with orange fucking somewhere. <laughs> Oh, right, if I jump at the end, it does screw things up a little bit, doesn't it? So I like the jump as the final instruction of Orange's sequence. I wish I could get it to play them slower. So I have time to think here. Yeah, I need... I keep forgetting that orange ends the sequence in the air. So this jump doesn't actually get processed after blue's first instruction. It's just the fall part of it. So orange in the sequence here, blue steps over, orange drops, blue steps over and pushes. This has to be the jump. Orange jumping is the only way that we're gonna get this star. Well, no, orange could be orange could be riding blue and step off of blue in the appropriate direction at that moment. Like this first one could totally be a left, which would cause orange to go like that. So, okay. Left up Sorry, it's got to be a down. This is like a wait trying to envision what blue is going to be doing in the moment here. So it's fall off. This is fall off of blue at the end of the sequence. This is just wait patiently and ride on blue's head. This is where the jump is. And then this is step over there. Right. So... I just want to like test and see stuff in action. All right, so you're in that position. There we go. Mm, we don't quite get as far as I would like. It's a move forward solution. And I think I might just, cause like here, it doesn't matter at all what orange does during this sequence, right? Blue is providing a bound that prevents orange from getting anywhere that would actually do any harm. And blue just blue just has to herd orange <laughs> like a kitten. Uh, but hold on, actually, I I should have hit restart level there. So we had orange fall off here. Is there a way to do this that doesn't require... All right, the left is still pretty solid. All 
I think weight on top of Blue's head was right. I'm trying to like, I'm playing back the sequence in my head. So apologize if I'm being slow. I apologize if I'm being slow. If we could get Orange to just execute the jump where Orange is right now, we could have Blue do... It's actually helpful that Orange will end the sequence in the air. But if I press right to get back into this space, then that means Orange is going to step off of Blue's head at some point, which we cannot have. So as things are right now, Orange is ending here. And yeah, left. we, we end up with the same thing, right? No. That's right, because if Orange is more than one step away from Blue, Blue can't get under in time. So... The last move has to be stepping off of Orange's head to the right, which means the first move has to be this left arrow. Pretty confident. We don't ever want to press right. So... This is going to end us up in the same spot, even in the best case scenario. Yeah. How do I end up with our position being further to the right during that part of the sequence, during sequence two? I don't know. You know what? Never mind. We'll just move on. It's fine. Super plumber work. I love that game. Okay, so this is, you know, this is an unfall during sequence two carries blue upward and then orange rides the unfall during sequence three. So we want to end up right here. It would be great if it like right, left, left, left seems to do what we want, right? Grab the star and then do this. So that ends with orange right here. We want blue to just ride down. This, okay. So end of instruction one, end of instruction two. Then we're gonna have the unfall. So instruction three is No, end of instruction one is here. Blue falls and then orange steps backwards. So end of instruction one is here. End of instruction two is here. Orange jumps. And then you're gonna be in this position. So you wait once, step left onto Blue, who will be in that position at the end of Blue's instruction one. Then Blue will go up to here. You will wait. Blue will go up to here. He will press right. I think I timed that all out correctly. Nope. Well, actually, it's totally fine, though, because this could just be a left without breaking anything. I think. Yeah, that works just fine. For some reason, I was thinking Blue would be able to walk off of Orange's head at the end there without, you know obviously, without figuring out what Orange was actually going to be doing. Plumber world in the land of great prophecy. See, they call this the lair, but they could easily have made another. This is a this is a room that exists in like a dozen places in Super Mario 3, where you're using pipes to traverse um, space on the, the overworld map. 
it could have continued to be Mario references. This is a lot of instructions, but not a lot of sequences, which is interesting to me. So obviously we want orange carrying blue up to here and then blue carrying orange up to there and then orange walks off. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. So blue steps left, end of instruction one, orange steps back, blue is here. We wait, which puts us here. Then we wait, which puts us here. Then we wait, which puts us here. Then we, oh, this probably should have been a jump, shouldn't it? Yes. Let me just go fix that. Okay. So left, down, 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 down. And then up so that we're touching this at the end of the instruction set. Oh, wait, how am I going to get onto... How am I actually going to get onto blue? <laughs> That's actually a real problem. Um, Because blue never enters a space that we can... Yeah, crud. I don't know how to get on top of blue to get the star. We can absolutely rely on blue being moved like this to push orange onto the sun. This is totally a functional solution for that. But I haven't left myself a moment, any moment during that sequence, during which we could get on top of blue here. Um, hmm, how would I fix that? We could during... Okay. What if we change this stuff up a little bit? Instead of having blue passively ride on the whole time, blue steps left, then orange carries blue to here. Then blue steps left, falling off of orange. And the problem with that is that orange is going to hit left and not actually get where we're going. So we need an extra rightward push from orange at some point. So you go left, left. All right. After blue's first thing, blue is here, orange is there. Blue presses left again, ends up here, while orange is there. Orange tries to move left, but fails. Then blue presses left, orange goes here. Blue presses left, orange goes here. Blue jumps to let orange actually get underneath. I'm a little worried that the timing on this is not going to work. Okay. So. Press right. So you're standing here. Then just jump a bunch. I just want to see it actually play out. Right. So we, uh, we enter an extra dead move. Oh, I forgot about how that was going to. Hmm. You can see what I was going for. This almost functions. I forgot about the fact that orange doesn't just play back the instructions. So like this thing causing the fourth, the, the last rightward instruction not working is actually a huge problem. So we need to, um, because it means orange doesn't move backwards during the, uh, during the blue sequence. So I need the penultimate arrow to actually be a wait instruction because this is where blue steps off right this should result in most of that sequence occurring one space further to the left than before you carry it over then the pursuit hold on how did this become a down that's supposed to be an up all right Ooh. 
this last arrow from orange is going to have to be a blue, but I, or it's going to have to be a left, but I just want to see this working. Why is this... Hold on. Why, there's a breakage here. Why is this not quite doing what I want? So left, 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 left. You jump and get stepped under. And then... That last jump needs to occur after the unfall, which is actually hugely problematic. Because it means there has to be a dead frame at the beginning here. But this is going to break everything, isn't it? Because now there's going to be a moment when, when Orange is trying to move left but can't. Yeah, and that's going to break. Yeah. If there has to be a beat over here. I guess if I make this an up. Okay, how about this? What if blue doesn't get carried the whole way? What if blue traverses some of this space down here, just gets on top of orange at like a critical moment? So it's like up, right, but we stop like here or something. Up, right. Down, 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 right. And then blue goes left, 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 up, up. And my hope here is that like the idea is blue crosses the space and allows orange to move under. No, because orange would have to, what am I talking about? Orange has to um, stop hate. Hey, stop. That's right. Orange has to do a um, has to do a wiggle at some point. Right, because we need orange to step out here and then step back. So we need we need one of these. I don't think this is timed correctly, but I really do just want to see it run. So yeah, the idea is by doing that wiggle, you create the situation where you can step under blue as blue jumps. Right. But I need blue, like what I'm thinking is if we have blue do this, we have blue come across the ground a little bit to cover some distance then during sequence three we can have orange run out ahead jump up right before blue steps into the last space blue is going to step into and then have be on top of blue and then blue performs the jump that gets them up into this area but i'm not sure if we actually have the time So what we would need is for... All right, orange jumps, because we need blue to end up here. But that can't be the last thing that happens, right? I don't know, it doesn't matter. 
Uh, I just, I need, I need to figure out the timing for this. Like, that has to be the last thing that happens. My concern is that we need the, we need the frame where Orange walks off of the, um... <sighs> Maybe not. Maybe that's not how this works. If Orange jumps and then Blue jumps, we can collect this without Orange having to be stacked on top of a Blue that is floating as though they were stacked on top of Orange. So maybe that's, maybe I'm making this, I'm adding a step here that doesn't need to exist. If we just use blue making this movement, the unfall, to push orange onto there. And then orange jumps and blue jumps. Oh, well, hold on. If, if sequence three orange is sitting on top of the sun, then we're going to just finish the mission. As soon as blue touches the moon here, we're not going to be able to get the star at all. Yeah, that's also problematic. Bloody hell. All right, my brain's cooked. I apologize. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and that was not a lot of levels. I'm going to go ahead and call it for today. I had a rough morning. I'm blaming it on that. Uh, when you come back next time, hopefully I will be a little bit well-rested, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. We had some of these episodes in the Baba Is You series too. I'm trying to remind myself. Episodes where just, like, not a lot got done. It happens. This is part of the danger of doing a puzzle game series. Uh, so that's going to be it for us for today. Thank y'all. I, I really appreciate it. Those of you who are, like, into this content, doing this stuff is really satisfying to me. And I appreciate y'all for making it marginally possible. I still can't do it too often because the, the hit on the ad revenue exists. But anyway, my point is I appreciate y'all. Uh, come back next time for more. We're going to actually get this one done at least. And we'll see you then. <laughs>